Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I will be discussing how you can import data into a SQL Server. So I'm using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and I will import data from Excel file. I will be importing Superstore dataset which I have used in many of the uh, videos earlier and in future also I will be using it. And also there is another dataset returns uh, uh, which means whatever orders are returned from that uh, Superstore data, those also we create a table. Okay. so I will tell you step by step how you can import the data so first of all you will have multiple databases in your in your system right I am choosing master one and I will right click task import data so I will click on next and it is asking for data source my data source is a excel file so I will choose Microsoft Excel and then I will choose the Excel path. Okay. Next. Then it is asking the destination. So destination is SQL Server. Okay. And again it is asking which database. I will choose master database. Next. then it is asking copy data from one or more tables or views so i will use this option i don't want to write a query i want to copy as it is data from the excel file if you want to write a query you can write a query as well so this is my this is the tab and so this is the tab in my excel from where i want to load the data into a table and this is my destination table name this table name i can change whatever table name i give here SQL Server will create the table with the same name. Okay, if I go to edit mappings, it is telling create destination table. So with the create statement, it will create the destination table. And as per the Excel data type, it has taken the data types also. For date fields, see if it has taken date time and all, right? So I will just do okay. Next, next, finish. So it has loaded triple nine for those. So we can see the data now. So if you refresh it, tables, and you can see this new table just got created, and I can query it now. Okay, so we have triple nine four those okay similarly you can import the returns data set also so i will be the sharing the link in the description box for the two data sets you can download and import in your machine whichever database you are using okay thanks thanks for watching it and subscribe to the channel